What is the integral of e raised to the 3x times cosine 4x? Now, you could find the answer by using the formula of integration by parts. And here it is. The integral of u dv is uv minus the integral of v du. Now, using this formula will get you the right answer, but it's a process. It takes time. In fact, there's a video that I've created that shows you how to find the integral of this exact problem using the integration by parts formula. I'm actually going to post a link to that video in the description section below. And this problem is the last problem in that video. It starts around the 25 minute, 20 second mark. Now, this is basically the long way of getting the answer. In this particular video, instead of using integration by parts, I'm going to show you another formula that will get you the same answer directly. And here it is. The integral of e to the ax times cosine bx is equal to e raised to the ax divided by a squared plus b squared times a cosine bx plus b sine bx and then plus the constant c. So in this problem, we need to identify a and b. a is 3, b is 4. So I'm going to write that here. So this is going to be e raised to the 3x over a squared, which is 3 squared, and then plus b squared, which is 4 squared. By the way, for those of you who want more formulas like this, in addition to other integration formulas, I'm going to post a link to a formula sheet that you can download that has a lot of integration formulas that will help you to get to the answer a lot faster. Now going back to this problem, we have a cosine bx. a is 3, b is 4, so 3 cosine 4x plus b, which is 4, and then sine bx, or 4x. And then finally, plus the constant c. So that right there is the answer. But now if you're going to compare it to the answer that I have in my other integration by parts video, it's going to look a little different. And I'll explain why. First, let's simplify what we have here. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. 9 plus 16 is 25. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to factor out a 3. If I factor out a 3 from what's inside here, I'm going to divide each of these by 3. So when I factor out a 3 from 3 cosine 4x, I'm just going to have cosine 4x. But the 3 I'm going to put in front of the e to the x. So this is cosine 4x. If I factor out a 3 from 4, I basically divide the 4 by 3, so this becomes 4 thirds sine 4x. Now, this is the exact answer that I have in my other video after using the integration by parts formula. However, it's a lot better to leave the answer in this form. But I want you to, I want you to see how this answer will lead to the other answer that I have in my other video, so you know that it's correct. Now, for the sake of practice, let's work on another example. Let's find the integral of e raised to the 5x times sine to the 12x dx. Now, the formula that you need for this one is this e raised to the ax times sine bx is equal 
the first part is the same, e to the ax over a squared plus b squared, and then times a sine bx minus b cosine bx, and then of course plus c. So for this particular problem, we can see that a is 5 and b is 12. So once we identify the values of the values of a and b, we can quickly get the answer. So e to the ax, that's e to the 5x, divided by a squared. a squared is 5 squared. b squared is 12 squared. And then a sine bx. A is 5 sine bx, so that's sine 12x, minus b cosine bx, so that's negative 12 cosine 12x, and then plus c, which I'm run out of space there. So now let's simplify this answer. Five squared is 25. 12 times 12 is 144. 144 plus 25 is 169. So we can leave the final answer like this. As you can see, using this formula helps you to get the answer a lot faster than using the integration by parts formula. So that's how you can find the integral or the antiderivative of any problem in this form, either e to the x sine x or any variation of e to the x cosine x. It will work for both. So by the way, if you want those formulas as well as a printout of some other integration formulas, don't forget to check out uh, the links in the description section below. I'm also going to put some other links to other videos related to integration by parts, uh, such as the tabular method. I don't know if you heard about that one, but that also helps with integration by parts problems where there's a lot of repeat steps. I'm also going to be posting some other links as well that you might be covering in school at this particular time. So feel free to take a look at that content. And for those of you who want access to my calculus video playlist, you could find it at my website, video-tutor.net. So feel free to take a look at that. I do have a calculus final exam on that website.